I'm Matt Gervitz. Our top story today, fires ravage a nearby county. Thanks for joining us. Matt Gervitz has today's sports report. Matt? Bobcat fans are still celebrating victory at Strahan Coliseum Monday evening. The men's basketball team began their season with an 84-49 win against UT Tyler. Growing your beards out is one of many ways to raise awareness, and the good news is... It's super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> From Bobcat Update, I'm Matt Gervitz. Amazon is the largest internet-based retailer in the country and will set up its San Marcos operations next to Embassy Suites on McCarty Street. Amazon delivers a wide variety of products. I get like textbooks, um, other like kind of like jewelry as well, clothes, stuff I would like need around the house. Amazon sees San Marcos as a great location for delivering select items in as quick as one to two hours for those who subscribe to Amazon Prime. The benefits for San Marcos are tremendous. Amazon will create hundreds of full-time jobs at its facility. Uh, well, you know, they're bringing in a, a great job opportunity, especially for college students coming out and graduating. Go over there and kind of start up uh, with a company that's uh, really established itself in the last five or six years. Mayor Daniel Guerrero says this is another sign of growth for San Marcos and the new warehouse will provide economic opportunities. Amazon will start construction by the end of the year and they're expecting to open in early 2017. For Bobcat Update, I'm Matt Gervitz. November has its time-honored traditions and one of them is No Shave November. Many students are participating regardless of their beard growing abilities. When I, when I can and when it finally gets thick enough, I want to grow a beard and it probably will eventually become part of my identity. I'm, I imagine if I shaved, you know, I shaved, no one would really recognize me from off the bat. So I guess you could say it's kind of part of my identity and who I am. The university police is joining in as well and are donating money to the Testicular Cancer Foundation. Right now we have, we have 32 officers on hand right now and 24 of them are doing it. Uh, what I did is that I up to Andy and, and I challenged our officers to do $25 uh, per this for, for us to lift the, uh, the facial hair uh, policy that we have for our police department. The foundation says one in every 263 males will be diagnosed with testicular cancer at some point in their lives. Getting screened early is the best way to avoid further complications. Um, I think it's awesome. I think it's always great whenever we can support something that we can find research for, and if if some if a guy growing out his mustache is going to help people know about testicular cancer and help other people learn about the cause and the you know what they want to do about it, I think that's awesome. So. Testicular cancer is no joke, and the only way we can beat it is to continue raising awareness and donating to charity. Growing your beards out is one of many ways to raise awareness, and the good news is it's super sexy. <laughs> <laughs> From Bobcat Update, I'm Matt Gervitz. The Bobcats will host their last home game of the year tomorrow as they take on the Louisiana Monroe Warhawks. The season has not gone the way most people had expected. Most had hoped the Bobcats would make their first bowl game this year. But after loss, the loss last Saturday to Georgia State, the Bobcats are officially eliminated from bowl eligibility. Senior Day will be celebrated tomorrow, so the seniors look to light the star on Jackson Hall one more time. Major League Baseball will announce the Cy Young winners tonight. The finalists for the National League are Jake Arrieta of the Chicago Cubs, Zach Greinke, and Clayton Kershaw of the Los Angeles Dodgers. The three finalists from the American League are Dallas Keuchel of the Houston Astros, David Price of the Toronto Blue Jays, and Sonny Gray of the Oakland A's. Keuchel is considered a favorite to win the AL Cy Young. The announcement will be made at 5 p.m. on MLB Network. The Texas Rangers and Houston Astros are facing elimination today in the American League Division Series. The Rangers are facing the Toronto Blue Jays and Houston plays the Kansas City Royals. The winner of the two games will face each other in a seven game series to decide who will represent the American League in the World Series. The first of six Democratic presidential debates is now history. Hillary Clinton led her own against four challengers who are also seeking the party's nomination. Clinton challenged her main competitor, Bernie Sanders, on how to deal with increased gun violence in America. Sanders is against most gun control measures. Clinton moved to regain her footing after several months of declining poll numbers. Last night's debate was a clash of views and clearly the prime target stood in the middle of the stage. Republican presidential frontrunner Donald Trump is scheduled to be the guest host of Saturday Night Live next month. It's a reunion of sorts for NBC and Trump. 
the real estate mogul until last summer had hosted NBC's The Apprentice and Celebrity Apprentice. After Trump made controversial comments about immigrants, the network canceled his shows. He will be SNL's guest host on November 7th. That's all for us today at Bobcat Update. Thanks for joining us. Bobcat Update will return tomorrow at 4.30. Have a great day.